YouTube. It's your boy Fern Jr. Finally back with another video. It's been a long time coming, man. I know y'all been missing me like I've been missing y'all. I've been trying to get back to the videos, trying to get back on my grind. I got a nice video for you guys. Y'all gonna really wanna check this one out. Today we're taking my 2022 Whipple F-150 for a nighttime drive, a little POV for you guys. I'll introduce y'all to the build here in a minute. We have a lot of new builds on the channel that I haven't introduced to you guys just yet. And uh, I can't wait to show you guys, man. Drop a comment down below if you guys wanna see some more videos. I will give you a walk around of all the new builds we got going on right now. Actually, I'll give you a little sneak peek if you guys wanna see. We got the Bronchese. We got a little EcoBoost. And then we got the we got the Whipple 4x4 over there. I'll, I'll introduce y'all to that one right now. Hey, but real quick, man, y'all check the fit. Tell me what y'all think. A little Cardi on the wrist. We got the Lot 3s. I hope y'all have been good. I hope y'all have had a good last couple years. I know I've been gone for a long time. But uh, I'm back now, guys, and I'm back for good. I really want to be consistent, and I really want to make some nice video for you guys. But anyways, that being said, let's introduce you guys to the new build. My new 2022 F-150 Limited Whipwood four-wheel drive. Y'all come check it out. All right, so here we got my 2022 F-150 Limited with the Whipple Supercharger. I got a 3.0 Gen 5 Whipple on it. Nothing too crazy right now. I do got long tube headers. Pushing like around 800, low 900s. So uh, it moves out pretty quick. I got the whole front end, limited swap, headlights, grill, fogs. Even got the bumper on the bottom. Got the limited badges, mirrors, door handles. And I even got this custom limited carbon fiber steering wheel. But yeah, guys, this is a new build to the channel. You guys have not seen it yet. I've had this truck for a little while, a little bit over a year now. But we're going to go ahead and take it for a spin. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on so you guys can hear it. This thing's pretty rowdy. So yeah, let's get right into it. Things loud, bro. All right, so we pulled up to the gas station. This is where I'm gonna start off the POV video. I will do a full build breakdown at the end of the video. If you guys are interested, I'll go through all the mods I did to it. But we're just pulling up to the gas station in order to start this POV. But yeah, check it out, man, in the light. Five. Your shower is now ready. Please proceed to shower. So yeah, the name of this truck is Shiesty. She get real Shiesty, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Hop in it and get this POV started, man. Let's do it. Yeah, and don't mind this. I got this piece at the crib. I got this piece at the crib, so you know what I'm saying. I just didn't put it on because I'm doing some work to it. But let's go ahead and put this in sports mode. And let's get right to it, man. Give it a little rev right here. I'm telling you, man, she's rowdy. And I am selling my Whipple if anybody's interested. It's 900 to 1,000 horsepower. Ready to go, man. Y'all hit me up. Sound like a beast. 
Hey, y'all let me know if y'all want me to do a giveaway on this, man. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Y'all can't have this truck. This is mine. But yeah, check out that steering wheel. Got the LEDs in it. Got the paddle shifters. You know how to do the paddles. downtown so i get to get some good videos take some good pictures y'all drop a comment down below if y'all enjoying the video so far man i do live in a small city so it's gonna it's gonna kind of be hard to get around and get some good videos but i'm gonna try my best guys but yeah as far as the exhaust on this thing i pretty much just got catalyst headers and a straight pipe with a vibrant resonator. That's pretty much it. It's a simple setup. The whole truck's pretty much on a simple setup. But you know, this hauls ass and it sounds badass and it looks great. Right now, we're just on the way downtown. It's like uh, about two, three minutes from here. It ain't that far at all. I can't really drive with the paddles since I'm driving one-handed, but uh, hopefully in the future I'll get a better uh, camera setup in order to drive with both hands. I gotta be careful on these bumps, roads suck out here. Bumpy ass road. Yeah, gotta use my turn signal. I do have my TPMS light on. That's because one of my tires is like at 28 or something. It's a little low. But, you know, it ain't nothing crazy, man. It ain't nothing to worry about, for real. But we finna hit this bridge. Y'all take a listen. I'm gonna roll down the windows. This downtown ain't big like like a uh, Dallas or Houston or nothing like that. You know, it's just a little downtown. Hopefully, we can get some good footage. You know, hopefully they ain't call the feds on me and shit. There's a little bar going down right there. piss anybody off either there's a lot of Karens around here oh look there's a post office and you shop on the dropshop.com that's where I'm shipping out your orders right there but yeah I'll probably go in that parking garage uh, probably cruise around that parking garage a little bit it's really hard to haul ass around this specific area because all the roads are bumpy. There's a lot of stoplights and, and uh, stop signs, but I'll try my best. All right, so I came to this parking garage in order to get some better lighting for y'all. We're going to do a full build breakdown of Shiesty, my 2022 F-150. First, we're going to start off with the outside. On the front end, I got a full limited swap, headlights, grill, bumper, uh, tow hooks, bumper chrome piece right there. I got a bullseye auto front splitter. I also got the limited fenders, mirrors, door handles with the switchback lights in them. You hit the blinker, they turn orange. Yeah, type shit, type shit. And then I got the limited custom carbon fiber steering wheel. And then uh, I do got the uh, limited tail lights and limited tailgate. The truck itself is sitting on a 3.5 vast drop 
a shock relocation in the rear, Viking coilovers in the front. I'm sitting on 22 by 12 American Forces, and on the tires, they're 285, 35. If you guys want to check out the shock relocation in the rear, I do have it with the anti roll bar as well. As far as the motor work, yeah, I'm, uh, I make videos. Man, they tweaking over here. Man, they tweaking, bro. I'm just trying to take a video. Man, look, nothing but crackheads around here. I can't do nothing, man. I didn't say nothing. I'm minding my own business. Anyways, we got a three liter supercharger Whipple Stage 2 Gen 5. Let me go ahead and pop the hood for you guys. Man, that couple's cool. I don't know why she's tweaking. She's straight capping on me over there. <laughs> I got a three liter Whipple Supercharger Gen 5 Stage 2. I, I opted for the Shelby carbon fiber intake. I put my own little JLT filter on there. I do have FIC 1000 CC injectors. I have a JD dual pump fuel system. And then I also just have a 325 upper pulley on it. I haven't done a lower pulley. It's still a six rib truck. So it's a pretty simple setup. I do have a UPR catch can over there. That's pretty much it guys. It's a real simple setup. Nothing too crazy on it, but it does haul ass. I do have a set of weld S81s for it. Beadlock 17s all the way around. But yeah guys, it's a real nice truck. Nothing too crazy. I am thinking about color matching the front end. I kind of want to murder it out. Tell me what you guys think. Drop a comment down below. And yeah. I'm gonna keep rolling because I don't know what's going on right here. I really appreciate you guys checking in, coming back to the YouTube Fern Junior Vlogs. It's been a long time awaited. I really missed you guys. I feel like when I stopped recording, um, you know, I lost a part of me. I do put my all into YouTube for you guys, and it's not easy, but I will do it if you guys want me to, as long as you guys support. This is my thumbnail right here. Hold up, where's, where's my phone, bro? I wanna take a picture of this. This is a picture. I don't know, where's my phone? I don't know where my phone's at, bro. Hold on, I'm gonna put the camera down, man. I'm gonna take a picture real quick. Man, this is crazy. I don't know what she was talking about over there saying I was calling her names or trying to take money from her or something. I don't know what she was saying. I just put up. Hope you guys having a fantastic night. Hopefully I can drop this video soon. I might just wait off until I can record some other good content for you because I do want to drop back to back videos. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure to follow my socials, Fern Jr. on Instagram, Snapchat. Also the drop shop. Real quick, I do want to give a quick shout out to my uncle, Tony Sanchez, AKA Lil Nidus. He's a professional BKFC fighter and uh, he does have a fight coming up march 29th he is fighting he's a bantamweight so if you guys want to check in and see him fight uh, i'd greatly appreciate it and y'all can cheer him on for me man i'm actually gonna be there so yeah you guys let me know if you want me to make a video on that i'll vlog the whole thing i try to get him i try to tell him to let me walk out with him but i don't know if i can just yet and it's been a long time since i recorded a video the reason for that is man these past two years they've been crazy man my life's been really crazy um you know that's no excuse but I wasn't really in the right headspace mentally to put myself out there on camera. But you know, this year has really changed for me. It's been a real change of pace. And uh, you know, I've been a lot healthier mentally. It's been a long time since you guys seen me. Hopefully you guys still enjoy the content and still enjoy, you know, Fern Jr. and the drop shop. That's gonna be it for now. And I really appreciate you guys. It's been your boy Fern Jr. Much love to all of you. And I'm out, man. Damn, they got her, bro. That shit was crazy as fuck, bro. I don't know if I got that on video, bro, but let me tell y'all what happened. I had to get out of there, bro. I don't have I don't have the real license plate on. My whip's tinted out like a motherfucker. I had to get out of there, bro. So I pulled up to take a video. I hopped out the whip. I started recording, and then I see a cop, like, pull around. And I, I wasn't worried about it, right? I ain't doing nothing wrong. He rolls down the window. He's like, you taking pictures? And I was like, uh, not. I was like, yeah, uh, I'm recording videos. I'm a YouTuber. And as soon as I said that, some fucking homeless lady or some crackhead or something bruh 
she walks around the corner and she's like, she was like, hey, fuck you. She was like, she was just started talking shit. I don't really remember what she said, but she started talking shit, bro. She was like calling me out. She was like, fuck you, you want some, this and that. The cops saw the whole thing, bro. I did not do nothing wrong. So anyways, man, that was crazy. I had to get out of there because I didn't want to be involved with that type of stuff. But uh, I'm on my way home right now, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, it's been a Fern Junior vlog, and I'm out, man. Peace.